Welcome back guys to another episode. This time I would like to show you how you can boost very easily your mobile photography. Alright guys, so I will show you what on my phone as photo and video editor program and and I will show you one app that I'm using daily in order to edit my mobile photography and you will see a screen next to me and uh, you will see everything what I will do how how will I edit so guess it which one I'm using daily yes you may be right I'm using the Snapseed Snapseed is powered and created by Google and I think is one of the easiest way to, to give a little bit of life to your images. I will not go through every single aspect, asset and tool that this application has. I only will show you this time what I'm using. So first of all, here you see a beautiful image. I mean, it's not yet beautiful. And uh, I will edit this one. So just go into the tools folder and you will see that tune image, details, course, white balance, crop and all the little goodies just appeared. Let's go into the tune image and let's select the second top that pops up the settings and there we have a lot of things like brightness, contrast, saturation, ambience, highlights, shadows and warmth. What brightness does? swipe on the screen to right in order to increase brightness and just simply swipe to the left in order to decrease brightness. So you see this image is a little bit dark so let's put 30% brightness like 29 and that will be fine. We can go to contrast. The contrast makes blacks a little bit darker and makes highlights a little bit even shinier. So let's do a little bit of contrast. Do we need in this image? Hmm. Yes. So we will do contrast still 30%. So the third setting is saturation. So let me show you what the saturation actually does. If you swipe to right till 100% that you will notice that the screen is as blue as possible. I don't like oversaturated images. So I will go with the saturation. Let's do something like 42 and that will be just fine. If we go further, I will skip this time the ambience one and I will go to highlight. This highlight gives to the image a little bit of shyness. So do we need highlights in this image to be even brighter? I think no, because my dog is in shadow and the background is sunny. I will skip this step this time and I will go to shadows. I will try to see what does the shadow do to this image. So push the shadow up to 50% that will uh, highlight the main content of the image, my dog. And I will go back to highlight and I will try to see if that helps a little bit and I think yes because at the left part of the image it helps to be even brighter. And, and honestly I like bright images so maybe you don't like it so you don't have to do this but if you scroll through my feed you will see that I do have bright images. The last one is warm. What kind of color palette you want to use like orange and yellow colors or you want to go to and to have bluish and something like that. I prefer a little bit of warm, so it will be 10% warm. And then I will go back to ambience. Ambience is a thing that makes the whole image a little bit, a little bit crispier. It gives clarity to the image. So if you see I start scrolling 100%, then the image is looking like something like this. You see on the screen. But if you go back, like for 50%, it's still too much, but it gives some power. I mean, so I will leave it at 37%. Just hit the done button and the image is likely done. I always crop the image. I will just drag a little bit down and from the left I will do a little bit more, even more because my dog is looking from left to right. So I want to move the dog a little bit to the left part of the image. And then uh, you can play around and try everything else. So how you save an image in this app is very easy. You just have to export and then if you press the save, 
it will uh, override the original ones. I don't want that, so I just save a copy. This is how I just randomly edited an image, and that's why I think that it's quite a good edit. Thank you so much for checking out this vlog. I'm so happy that you were interested about how you can boost your mobile photography. And uh, let me know what kind of content you want to see about content creating and I will try to keep it up with you guys. Just please don't forget to socialize, to subscribe to my channel and maybe hit that like button if you enjoyed this vlog. And then, you know, as always, see you next time and have a good one.